previously on the Green Cloak Adventures. Do I know Ropo need... CPR? Bad? <laughs> sure. I have no lungs. <laughs> that's, that's why I said Robo. Like, give me the medic <laughs> check. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly <laughs> what's wrong with him. Anyway, I'm I'm here on on Mr. Steel's orders. Uh, I was concerned that I was gonna have to, you know, do a little a little something here, but it seems like you guys have it under control. I misread your name as Joe Ligma for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> so there's one letter that's not fully destroyed, and it is from Green Bart to oh. somebody by the name of the Red Queen, and it looks like they're trying to negotiate a price for something. So pretty high up in the sky, I, I a don't know, in the all. like very 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 far away. Looks like it's leaving. You look. It looks like a. a um, Hold on, that's too. Good. A dragon. Too good. I'm sorry. Got a smaller dragon. Is it mm. Bowser's um, flying castle? Throw a, a heavy-handed clasp on Anchadash and uh, and the Unger's, uh shoulders. I go. <laughs> What's the move, gents? What are you doing? <laughs> You're in luck because I'm about to tell you where I'm going. <laughs> Can we? So based on how I saw that whole meeting go down, I'm not gonna tell you the name, right? Okay, but you can come with me to this place. If you wanna go to like a more, you know, a little more upbeat, a little more, you know, some, a little something going on. You know, they know me there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty popular, pretty well known. I don't know how you guys didn't know me when I first walked in. I'm like, this place is every, it's like hardcore counterculture. But only after midnight. Like that's it's like the straight vibe. hero gasm. It's literally hero gasm. That's what this that's, is. That's, that's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in on Gideon, Ultra Dash, and Tungar as you are making your way to um, what can only be described as D and D gasm. D and D gasm. D and D gasm. So what's the conversation we zoom in on? So, uh, do you guys, uh, how do I put this in, in a, gosh, I want to be friends with you. Um, <laughs> do you guys get out much? Uh, I usually go through the mountains and talk to birds and squirrels, uh, and myself and, and my God. Uh, oh my so God. I would say I'm pretty social if you ask me. <laughs> All right, Johnny Appleseed. What about you? <laughs> nah, keep to my self. I can see that. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a corner right here. Wonderful. But okay. that is very sweet. I would love to be friend with you too. I well, wasn't. Alright, we're not gonna. That wasn't an invitation. <laughs> we're gonna make this nor <laughs> natural and natural growth. Do you guys. Um, there we go. That kind of natural. Perfect. Okay, now can you do that when we get inside as well? Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect, perfect, okay. And then, uh, add your dash. What's your, you're posted up. You see Tungar, he's hitting the... What are you, what are you doing? Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm raising the root. No, no you're not. <laughs> You're okay. Raising, you're raising my I like, I like this. <laughs> I can do this very well. No, don't do that. See how, see how efficient it is. I, so efficient. Yeah, I understand for sure. We are going to make friends tonight. We <laughs> will be friends, 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 right. friends, friends. Yes. <laughs> can we, gentlemen? Oh, thank God we're here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you get to the staircase that you know very well, Gideon. Mm -hmm. And we're going to move everybody so everybody will get to see this. Through the magic of roll 20. Looks like a pretty magic uninteresting, roll, uh, uninteresting wow. cellar. Oh, God, it's wow. so small. Right? I'm zooming in. Oh, it's, like, oh, it's down there. <laughs> it's yeah, I look it's like, for it. <laughs> So you should all have access to that token. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so where'd you get Oh, okay. Little Yoda in the corner. Right here. Yeah. Or, or a goblin. It could you know, there's also those. 
Can I, um... Scrooge, you will. Can I make a perception check to see if anyone... I assume that this is the, the front, right? This is the fake... Yeah, this is the fake... fake. This is fake. like the gambling hall mm -hmm. that you know somewhat well, I would assume. But you know, with ordering the right things, saying the right things, you will be allowed into the back. Absolutely. Perfect. Um, so I kind of... I just want to look around for a little bit here and, and look mm -hmm. at the, uh, I, you know, uh, take a gander and see if any of these people are, are, are the normals, the cat, not the casuals, what's the word, the regulars who are, who are here, the, the filthy casuals who just sit in the front <laughs> um, and watch. <laughs> yeah, I just want to, I want to, you know, just take a quick gander and then, and then I had to, I basically walk straight back without sure. saying much. So I just a little. Well, I guess I guess we follow him. Can you yeah, get you... an odd look as everyone walks by? I mean, you can tell from the two guys who like are leading the gambling. Those guys are basically like sentries for the front. Oh, sense. muscle. But everybody else kind of takes a gander at y'all. I just like. Well, I'm, I'm unfazed by that, for sure. The goblin doesn't even, like, pay any attention to you as you walk up to the little bar counter. Gotcha. Um, I assume I would know his name, correct? Yes, I'm sure you would. Alright, let me, um... His name... No, no. Uh, oh. is... <laughs> player. Hold on. What did you say, player? Oscar the Shark. What's up, player? <laughs> It's two different Playa? things. Play, play, it's good play. I vote, I vote Joffrey. Oh gosh, no. Sorry, I have a whole list. I'm pulling it up right now. Baratheon. <laughs> you Giant might want to keep that Baratheon. list up. <laughs> Perfect. There'll be lots of names I'm gonna ask. JT, for. can we hear music? No, it's like deadly quiet. That's kind of scary. <laughs> This is something. Can I pull uh, so out like, my... Like, hey, hey, Lars. What's oh. Up? Okay. You you hear a sigh from behind the desk. It looks up. Yeah. Oh, Lars. <laughs> I think I got... I think I... I fuck. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I think I fucked. He closes himself a little bit. I think I fucked. <laughs> uh, that too, for sure. But <laughs> I think... Uh, my friends have what's good for what ails you. You know uh, rules! Oh my god. I know, I know, what, I know <laughs> what? No rules! No newbies! I know, I know, but look, I mean, look at this guy. I've got to point They gotta get some experience. Get in! You keep bringing movies in here. Okay, it's well, not first, a secret if you tell everyone. The first time they were hot. What do you want from me? I, like, <laughs> someone's gotta find out about this place. People need to know. Hot people need to know about this place. And these two. We're hot. We're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, listening. Stop listening to what I'm saying. Like, the view. Okay. Go, Anything you heard, like that out. Listen, Lars. I. I know, I know that I fucked up a couple times, right? But hear me out. First time, right? They're twins. They're pretty. They're good looking. They're they're triplet brothers. Also, pretty handsome. Like I'm doing. You everything brought eight like, people that's in. That's not my fault that I didn't know they were octuplets. <laughs> <laughs> There's eight of them. If, when I met them, they were twins, and then they had a brother. Who, who uh, guess turned out to be a triplet, and then I don't know. They, people bring people. It's like you gotta tell other people to not bring new people, because that's the problem. The first wave, my like close, my first ring of people that I'm bringing, they're fine. It's the people that they bring that's the problem. So you just tell them no. You hear I, a sigh, and then his neck. He pops his neck. <laughs> All right, Gideon, I'll let you in. On one condition. 
You don't bother Jesse for money. He knows he owes you money. He will pay for your stage performance at some time. Well, that's you know, I I owe Jesse I owe Jesse anyway for letting me perform. You know, I really wouldn't have gotten my name out there in the first place if it weren't for him. Um, but debts come due. Um, Not today. That okay? <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I don't have to come today. But I will. Oh, you say will. That I work for. Yeah. <laughs> I will. You heard him. You know what that means. <laughs> we all know what that he means. He stares at you with his big sad eyes. Just get inside. And he hits. That's what I thought. He hits a little <laughs> button underneath his desk, and the two kegs over in the corner, over here, the doors pop open. Fit. Um, so if you well, come I'm... over here, it's open now. Okay, over this way. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. So, so Gideon, Gideon gets skinny and and, and slides through. The actual kegs um, themselves, I like don't... the doors, plop open. Oh shit! Oh, it's just a fake. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's just a fake. That card. Uh, that you, you just see Gideon, <clears throat> like, I don't know how much sports you guys watch. Sports you know ball. those those cameras they have in the yeah in the tunnels for an NFL game. They're like shaking their hands out, they bounce out, bounce around like on the balls of their feet a little bit, like neck side to side, shimmy the shoulders, like really getting loose. Wait, so Brock like, Lesnar the anxious little shivers out? Yeah, sure that. Um, <laughs> I don't know who that is, but yeah. Uh, it's WWE. <laughs> perfect. Um, yeah, showmanship a little bit. Like he's he's ready. He's like, I'm, my fingers are. I'm, Warming up my fingers, I'm ready, and start walking in. So as you cross over onto the wood floor, immediately you go through the magical barrier, and you can hear a very loud guitar solo coming through. And you can hear the little click as the barrel shut behind you. Dick. What is happening? This is pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> <You're sure already. laughs> You guys know about magic, right? I mean, yeah. Okay, I'm a wizard. Okay, perfect. Because this is all magic. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked you didn't notice. <laughs> even the even the doors opening. No, that's well, sure. Yeah, that's magic too. It's a different kind wow. of magic. Wow. It's like magic with math. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> if you ever. You should try it someday. You should try learning it someday. I'm sure that'd be really good for you. <laughs> I'm sure I will pretty soon. I, I have a feeling I, I might devil pretty soon. I'll teach you, Tungar. Thank you, Atardash. I didn't even know that you were a wizard. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> Atardash. <laughs> That's my whole wizard get up. Just, what do you mean? <laughs> so as you come around the corner, you're flooded with like a bunch of smells that hit you all at once. And of course the sound, there's lots of people talking and just like somebody on stage absolutely wrecking a guitar. Beautiful. You guys listen to a lot of music or? No? So mid conversation, <laughs> a guy runs around the corner and he goes, oh, get it. And my friend, how you doing? And it, you obviously know getting because you met him many, many times. This is Jesse. Jesse, my guy, how are you? You look a little nervous. Are you nervous right now? <laughs> no, no, no. Come on, man. Yeah, you know we're gonna have a really good time tonight, and I think, um, you know, I think we should just be friends and you know be cool tonight. As there's like an awkward <laughs> silence, he's like, yeah, and so, you know, uh, uh, Are you making yeah, do you know about that here? money thing? Yeah, no, I know no. about the money thing. Oh, oh good. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, Lars... good, 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 good. All right, good, good. Who's your friends? He's tall. This is, oh, <laughs> this is Tungar. Hello. Uh, and then this guy, this guy is Atradash. Or this person, I should say, is Atradash. Oh, oh, good, good, oh, good, good, good. Tungar, 
Ten Tungar? Tung Tung Whatever. It, you could be a big star, it, man. I could make you a big star. <laughs> oh what, what, what's okay. your name? Alterash? Alterash. Oh. Alter Dude, I can make you also a star. Listen, listen, man, we should sit down and talk about it. I I really think we could make something happen here. I thought Ooh. he said tonight was gonna be fun, right? <laughs> yeah. I was Gideon, man! I didn't even know you were coming tonight. Don't, don't, yeah, I'm obviously coming. I'm here. I come uh, here every day. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you. I is this? <laughs> when did you get here? I uh, I got. I just got here. I just got here. Um, uh, good. I was talking to. Have you met my friend Tungar? <laughs> I, what? Huh? My brain is my brain is melting. You guys, I think. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not sober. I'm too sober for this. I'm going is this far. is this magic? Let's get to know. This is mania. Is what this is. I'm what going is to the going bar. on? Bar <laughs> bar sounds <laughs> normal. I will join. <sighs> Anna won't be left with him. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of he like just snuggles up next to uh, Alter Dash. He's like, "You're gonna be a big star, man. You you like film music." <laughs> What, what are you into? Of, well, um, what kind of film are you into? I mean, I you know any kind of producing. I, you know, I'm really good. I want to make a wizard movie. <laughs> that sounds dope. Do not listen to him. Do not listen to him. He is a snake oil salesman. He owes me money. Do you guys want to work for this guy? Don't work. As you're oh. speaking, he's like, shh, shh, shh. Alter Dash, don't listen to him. I don't have any money. Well, a little bit of money, but a little bit of money doesn't get anyone hurt. Right? Right. All right, anyways, as I was saying, you want to drink? Yeah. Ultra Dash? Get me in, man. When did you show up? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. You are... Listen, man. I'm going to just slip right by you here. Go... Do you... Is there anything in the back for you so that this dials it back. I feel like you're a little bit more subdued, but it's always later in the night, so it's hard to tell if that's where you're at, or if that's... Are you always a 10? And not visually, emotionally. I got a phone call, <laughs> and he just like scratches his head. He's like, shit! And then he just like starts dashing off to the back. Atra, that... You that's see you could disappear hey, around um, the corner. Ugh. What Perfect. is is that dust in the air? Ugh. It's um this is also kind of magic. Believe oh. it or not. <laughs> I don't know if I like magic anymore. You like the math magic. You'll learn, you'll magic. learn to like the so, Okay. <laughs> math magic good. Some this of the people cool. around here. <laughs> lots of humans. As far as you can tell, you see zero elves. There's a naga, there's a bunch of dwarves. Zero uh, L? Zero errors. There looks like a bear oh, man. Oh. Tungar, you might recognize. That's a race from your neck of the woods. Oh. Oh, because the bear. Woods bear. You <laughs> might want to <laughs> not look at him <laughs> in a certain way. Just letting you know he turned. Dash. There's also frog people in the room. Ew, the, the bear? Yes. Don't look at the back of his neck. Or else he will get very angry. Oh, okay, I'll 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 keep that. Gotcha. And absolutely, guys... do not bring up their mothers. Are gotcha. Just, are you guys explaining just basic social cues? These feel like pretty basic <laughs> social cues. I'm not gonna lie. For to you. this specific <laughs> race, I am just giving him pointers. Respect. Oh God, I forgot the flashcards at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I uh, Gideon is just sort of gonna be a little bemused and also bewildered <laughs> by by these two, and then he's gonna head head straight for the bar. Um, bar is right like, here. Which one? Oh, this? Yeah. This place is huge. It, it looks big. So yeah, it's so... huge, huge. Kudos, JT. Um, yeah, so go to the bar. Um, 
Let me. Gonna two, step on four, or up. One of the uh, barmaids, both of them were orcs, full blooded orcs, walks over. She goes, Kinky. Gideon! What are you uh, having to drink tonight? Everyone is on a 10, and I love it. I love it, <laughs> you guys. This is the energy we're going to need to make it through the whole fucking night. Do you understand that? Do you know that? As you, like, okay. so you turn back to tell that to them, as you turn around, there's already three drinks in front of you. Even better. You know what, you guys? You're fucking killing it tonight. Um, and I, you know, I love your work, and I love what you do. Can I make, like, a, a charisma check to see if I can keep this these positive vibes and... Uh, Free drinks. Alcohol. Yeah. Uh, flowing. Yeah, give me a charisma check. Perfect. Let me just find my character and its sheet. Because I closed oh. it. <laughs> mm. Does that make me actually roll it? The fuck? No, it didn't. What? Why? You just hit saving. There we go. There you go. Okay. She leans in and she goes. Chessie owes you a shitload of money. I'll just give you a bunch of free drinks. He's a scumbag. He hasn't paid me my money this week. Have you talked to the labor board about that? I feel like there's a lot of kind of crime. She going like on. spits out <laughs> the alcohol in her mouth. She goes, <laughs> shut this entire place down. You know these type these vagrants. You know us. We always find a way to connect. I listen. How much, how much does he owe you? Oh, just a week's salary. What, what is, do you mind if I ask what that is? Five gold. Oh. Um, I toss 10 gold to her and the other, and I say, split this. You guys, you guys are so good to me. She, you, you deserve it. She looks over and she goes, Lizzie, get them the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you want to get the free drinks, but then you start paying. Back. They're just paying it anyway. <laughs> this, is, this is payment in a way that is priceless. Price. Yes. It it's went from like gold. tap oh, on tap kind of stuff to like private bottles, just like showing up every time you turn around. Like they're just grabbing shit at this point. We're we're buying out the bar. Perfect. And I so, just like. I think Tungar just thinks this is like normal for this kind of place. I'm like, damn, they have drinks that are really free and good. What is this place? My friend, Man. when you get out enough, everything can be free. If you with stick ten with me, gold. With ten gold. Yeah. <laughs> so that, listen, everything comes every everybody has their price. Emotionally sometimes. Financially Sometimes physically, and I'm not afraid to satisfy those. And that's how you get free stuff. So as <laughs> as the okay. voice echoes, as if we are the viewers of this show, it, the screen gets pulled away from this loud and obnoxious light show <laughs> as he says, echoing through the dark, free stuff. And we <laughs> end up in the flames, the embers, and the smith shop, and we oh. see through the flames as it backs up you're like oh we're like the nightclub no we're actually in where bishop is and hank oh that's a nice transition and he looks over hank looks over and he goes all right bishop that's all the work for tonight uh the uh, bishop will be holding <laughs> like a bunch of like swords and just drop his arms and just <laughs> go <laughs> oh, oh, god <laughs> Bishop, oh man, I love you, but yeah, you kill me sometimes. All right, you good with the special delivery? Is it like the one that I did earlier? Yeah, 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 same one. Same place. Same place. Do you have the coin still? And he'll like, he's not wearing his coat, so he'll he'll do like. They like look around his arms and he goes, coat. God, God damn it. He pulls out another coin, hands it to you. Just, Do not speak to 
the goblin, please just take the package away. Right you know where to go, right? Oh no. <laughs> Do not speak yes. to him. Just show him the coin, he'll let you in. Straight there, straight out. Stop for a drink if you I, I don't care. Don't talk to him. Bishop needs a drink. Last time you went there, you spoke to him. Do not open your mouth. Just show him the coin. Do you understand? He complained. Bishop understands. Thank God. All right. All right. The boxes are over there. Just take them on. Is there anything else I can help you with? As you say that, he's like walking out the door and he goes, Nope, good job. He shuts <laughs> the door. Uh, okay. And uh, Bishop will... Bishop will... Uh, I guess he, you just kind of threw the coat and the hat onto the box. So he's just standing there in the cold, uh, holding a box, his coat. And he'll, uh, he'll put on his hat, set the box down, and, and put on his uh, uh, trench coat. And... Uh, Pick up the box with one arm. Start marching towards the uh, towards the building. <laughs> so as you swing the door open, the camera flashes to the door opening in Joe's room. Oh no! And it's we have just missed the um, the nacho like player. the end guy opening the door and going. All right, Joe. God damn it! I can hear you crying still. <laughs> I've already given you nachos and the sauce. <laughs> Listen, man. And he just like without <laughs> without asking comes in and sits down at your table. He goes, "All right, Joe, I'm gonna level with you here, man. You Levels. gotta get out more. What? You're gonna have to get out more, like what? out of here more. But, okay, but listen, it is body." She wouldn't want me to, man. God. Oh my God. All right. Listen, I'm gonna. Joe, can you? I know you can't keep a secret. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Sure, I can. I kept the secret about you and that lady that wasn't a lady the other day. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey. I didn't tell anybody. I promise. You told. You said you would never speak of it. Again. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, it's the sauce, man. It's, it's really hot today. Uh, can I hear me the You leave tissues? Jonah out of this. I thought that was Joanne. Yeah. Uh, sure. All right. Listen. I want to have a nice, peaceful night. And I need you to mellow out. Can you do that for me? I don't have any melons. Oh my, okay, listen. I just need you to forget the night and never speak of this again. We're not, Joe, look at me. Look at me in the eyes. We're not friends, you see? Oh. Look. Okay. Look at me. I look, look, look right here. I, I, there's only two eyes. You never speak of this to anyone. I will never speak of you and Joanna to anyone. No, 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 no. God. Joe, I'm trying to help you out, man. I'm trying to get you back on track. I think a little booze and excitement might actually, you know, spark your wheels a little bit. The reason, the reason why I'm on nachos is because of the booze. <laughs> All right, Joe, listen, <laughs> I need you out of here tonight because I got Jonah coming over and you mean honestly, you ruined it last time by asking so many questions at my door constantly. I, I have so many so, questions when he's in the donkey suit. I don't know what you expect. Listen, I need you to just uh, listen and he hands you a coin. Was I, what? He I, hands you a little map with a with a thing circled, and it's of the town map. Is this go there. Go to the cellar. Yes, 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 yes. It's a treasure hunt for a good time. Oh, I love treasure hunts. <laughs> but it's a treasure hunt that you could never speak of, or I'll kill you. 
Wait, so I can't speak of you and we're Joanna, like pirates. and I can't speak of the, the treasure hunt either? Yeah, we're like pirates. You're part of my crew now. It's a three-person crew. You gotta hold to the code. Wait, but don't we kill pirates? I'm... Jesus Christ, just take the coin. He's, she... Gotta be over here in a couple minutes or tell him you wouldn't be here. But it's my room. <laughs> <laughs> And he goes, you're going to have a great time. With, like, the nacho part still in your lap, and he just kind of wheels you out to the street, and he goes, have a great time, buddy. The door slams, and I'm just Oh, don't speak to there. the guy at the entrance. Yeah, he's, he's like, don't speak to the guy at the entrance. Boom! Do you just have, like, nacho cheese and sauce, like, on you? <laughs> It's, like, it's like, eating. the nachos are on my, like, the nacho cheese is smeared along, like, my face. But I'm cleaned up <laughs> elsewhere because I was crying for so long. And I'm just in my boxers and uh, t-shirt. It's like a wife beater. And then I got my little socks on that are a little bit too big because my feet shrunk because, you know, I don't use my feet. So they just kind of dangle there. <laughs> yep. Thank, thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so as you zoom in on the cheese, we zoom out on Bishop again. And you've walked into the little area we saw before where the people are gambling and the goblin. Uh, as the door, he'll, as he'll swing the door open and then like politely like turn around to like shut it. Do the good old like one hand on the door frame to make sure it doesn't slam. And uh, he'll start walking over to the counter okay. and make eye contact with the uh, the little goblin. Goblin looks at you and goes, "Oh fuck!" And then uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bishop will, will be holding the box with one arm and he'll he'll just point a finger out and start rummaging through one of his coat pockets and pull out the coin. And, then and you hear immediate. Like, as soon as you start to make the motion and he sees just the, like, top of the coin, he's like, click, 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 and the door, boom, 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 boom. Uh, Bishop will just kind of look at the coin, <clears throat> back at the goblin, look at the coin, and then just slowly put it back <laughs> into his coat and then turn around. Move and the door. On! God! <laughs> Me and Hank are going to have another goddamn conversation. I already told him about this. <laughs> um, and uh, Bishop will walk through the magical wall. <laughs> and um, there'll be loud music and such. And so, I guess he'll come out through the front entrance. So you know exactly where you're supposed to be, which is in the back corner. You've already delivered to here before. The back, back right corner. The scene... The two cameras zoom out, and we have a double screen. And as uh, Bishop is walking past, you hear, and that's how you get a lot of free stuff. And Gideon, you happen to notice, Bishop is in here now. <laughs> I mean, you haven't been here very long. <laughs> I, I look at both of them, not expecting them to be uh, surprised. But I just, I'm looking around for someone to have the same realization that I am having in this moment, which is that that's where I know this guy from. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe it. Because when I first saw this robot man, he was covered in blood and guts, never cleaned his face off once. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it was in, the, in, in a decently lit cave and then out in the sunlight. I've never once seen him. I like couldn't make the leap from that <laughs> bishop to this bishop, who I just assumed was not sentient at this point. I just thought he was like a, a like a machine, less than a, a sentient robot. <laughs> so, so looking around, waiting for someone else to also be like, I know that guy, to, to nothing. Um, and I, I start. I start to walk towards them. Uh, I should. I should. Wait. That's what this is for. 
Where did he drop it off at? Sorry, I missed it. Oh, uh, he's. You all have the same token right now. Oh, oh. sick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I walk over to him. Just easier. I did. You're I did want to point out. Mid stride. Mid stride. I'm holding like, like a giant box. Yeah, it's like a crate. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I walk. I'm like. I'm so confused because I also don't know what's in these crates, and I'm genuinely curious. Um, I can only assume it's booze, but who knows? It might be body. <laughs> That'd be fun. Um, Hank, my guy. And so I walk over to him, and I catch him, and I and I wanted to point out because I thought it looked really cool. This is the the drink uh, that we all <laughs> oh, have. Oh wow! Crazy Sick. green elixir. Um, it's very, it is very tasty though, and this is alcoholic. So. <laughs> of course. It's actually pure alcohol. It tastes like ethanol almost. Um, Mouthwash. It's Everclear. <laughs> it's Mid it's Midori, white rum, and uh, Saint Germain. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> it's a lot of flavor. Made my heart burn bad. Uh, <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> Walk over it oh. and snag, or like I try to grab Bishop. I like that. I like for you to re reach for his coat, and as you're holding, he's like, because he's still able to move you. You're not very, you're not like a large person, are you? No, I'm like he's. Like, I think Gideon is like five and a half or six feet tall, and oh. like maybe a buck fifty. He's not. A, he, I think he's like six foot, a buck fifty. Like he's not. A, <laughs> Heavy dude. Oh, because Bishop weighs like 300 pounds of metal, <laughs> so he like you 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 like go to grab his arm and uh, like just kind of go with him. Fine. And uh, <laughs> Bishop will like hear like like a like a noise of like shoes being dragged on the floor, and he'll just stop and just like look down over his shoulder and go. Bishop would like to say hello to you, Gideon, and then he'll just kind of like look straight ahead. I'm shocked that you even knew my name. What's up, Bishop? I I didn't. How long have you been? You've been coming through this place as long as I have, at least. How long have you been here? Bishop just arrived. No, not like that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, how long? How long have you been delivering to this place? How long have you known about this place? You look at the box. I'm just kind of stare at you and say Bishop has to deliver this <laughs> yeah I know I, I've seen you do it every time I've been here I know that you do no go to, yeah, let's go to live for sure just show me just show me where you deliver this actually come on guys I think, oh, why aren't you drinking <laughs> start drinking two car <laughs> oh, oh. Action, action. oh wow Ooh. that cup is full very good <laughs> Very you know, good. You don't, you don't have this person. You don't have to say it like he did. Okay. And second of all, you don't have to lie. Like it's uh, tasty, I know, but you guys don't. There's no way you guys drink, right? I thought it was top shelf stuff. No, it, it's top shelf, but alcohol tastes like shit the first time, no matter what. Unless I mean, like, I never. I'm not saying I've like I've never drank as a character before. I just uh, like the party. The party scene isn't. I just, Gideon definitely just assumes that you've never drank before. Like, he's like, he thinks that you've lived your entire life indoors until this moment. You are a monk. You're about to, you're about to find out some things. <laughs> yeah, I go, I go, Tinga, you don't have to lie. It, that, there's no way it tastes good if you've never had alcohol before. And, like, I just bust out, mm, it has a very aromatic flavor, uh, hints of earthy, like, just going all out on, like, the description of the, the depths of the flavor of this alcohol. I'm like, I, I rate it 6.5 on the Tungar scale. <laughs> you were on scale. <laughs> That's incredible. I'm like, I'm like, I'm still holding on to Bishop, <laughs> assuming he's dragging me wherever he's going while I'm trying yeah, to have this conversation. Yeah, after though. I said I'm going to deliver this, I started marching. Yeah. So you just kind of like, on. while yeah. well, having this conversation. <laughs> Have fun, bye Gideon. Wait a second. You can hear like the music like going, but you can hear the rubber soles of your boots as well. <laughs> just uh... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, is it the it's the top left, right? Is that where I'm going? Yeah, so first off, since now we're getting to the deeper portion. So the middle of this place is just like bumping with lights. 
Yeah. Uh, all these little orb things are like light orbs that like move around. They're just magical orbs that move around. Is the, the light crystal... reflecting off the crystals? Yeah, but the crystals also give off like a cooling effect. So it's not super hot down there. And there's just shitloads of confetti all over the ground, mm. all mm. over the dance floor. I want to go to this place uh, Gideon, you, uh, you know that the person you're supposed to drop this off to, whether you know his name or not, is Jesse, who is currently <laughs> the only person on the dance floor going at it like it's a rave in the middle. Uh, it's me, for me. Yeah, I that's who you right. always... He tells so you as, where to put it. As, a, as, I'm, as I'm dragging uh, Gideon across the uh, the floor, I'm going to walk, just start, like, I, not, like, aggressively bumping people, but, you know, I'm a machine, so it's, like, you know, inertia. I don't really <laughs> need to, like, push you over. I'm just going to walk over you. So I'm, like, marching through this, like, crowd of people that are all, you know jamming out and stuff and they're just like oh, like just this big robot walking through he comes up to jesse puts his hand on his shoulder and he just kind of like leans down and says the package is here and he's just so, so as pocket. you touch him so just so you're clear pat once you get past the crystals there's like nobody dancing right now <clears throat> like it's way oh, too okay. early for that it's just jesse out oh there. it's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah now he's acting like there's a hundred people out there. Like he keeps acting like he's bumping into people. He's he's not. And when you put your hand on his shoulder, he goes, Oh! Oh! Oh, it's it's you, man! Yeah, follow me. And he looks back and he goes, Oh! Gideon, man! Uh, I guess you can follow too. Bishop, Thank you. Uh, that Gideon is now holding up to me. Uh, Bishop, you're my favorite person right now. Come on, you—you you know you'd look really good in a movie. I—we I, could do some stuff here. Bishop has so, always dreamed of theater. <laughs> he starts to take you to the back room. Uh, <laughs> back rooms. So the let's. <laughs> <laughs> that he walks you up to this giant minotaur guy. What? And minotaur steps aside. He's got this huge axe. Jesse goes, yeah, 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 move, move, move. Yeah, mm, yeah, big as, delivery. As yeah. Walking, as Bishop will look to the minotaur and just kind of bow, like tip his hat like he always does, seeing the minotaur. <laughs> the minotaur goes, like does a deep bow and goes, welcome back, Bishop. And he looks at Gideon, and he's like, I, I've seen you. Like, he doesn't say anything, but he gets the look of, like I've seen you before. I should know your name. I don't. <laughs> Are you still being dragged, by the way, Gideon? Are you still, like, locked on to the arm? No, no, no. I, after, after you stopped, like, bowing stuff, I was like, okay, this is kind of... He's got <laughs> heelies on. <laughs> You're just holding his arm. It's my protector. He's my security blanket. My, my sweet <laughs> cheese. My good time boy. <laughs> my good time um, boy. <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> like, I, look at, I look back at the Minotaur, and I just I just say, you should learn my name. Oh. Well. You just hear like a, like, you know the noise like cows make when they like stomp something? He <laughs> just did that towards <laughs> you. <laughs> You're not. I don't know if you've been around a lot of minotaurs or not, but you can't tell if you haven't. You can't tell if it's aggressive or not aggressive. <laughs> oh, perfect. Um, yeah, I'm just like when he does that, I kind of flinch a little bit. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, kind of do, I do reach for Gideon's arm, or not Gideon for uh, Bishop's arm a little bit. Where I'm like, oh. <laughs> So we zoom real far in on Jesse's arm, and it's like sweating, and like you can see the cold chills on his arm. He's got like a really nice watch, some rings. Is as it, he reaches, go like ahead. Mega hairy? Is it like a mega hairy? Arm? No, clean shaven. <laughs> as and we zoom up on his hand as his hand comes up, and you see his like rings. As he reaches, you can see the doorknob, and as he opens. 
the camera flashes and we're with Joe. And Joe, your first problem, man, is there's a bunch of stairs leading down. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. So where am I right now? Yes. You're yes. outside of where this would be. Ah, oh, frick. And there's just like it's <laughs> just like 15 <laughs> stairs going down. Steep de like decline. It's All not right. like a like a like a like four steps. So I roll up to it and I'm like <laughs> All right, well, this is the place. Uh, I wish there was a ramp. Wait, are you still in your boxers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't change. He, he literally oh. kicked me out of my room. And okay, I'm still okay, in okay. my, you know, some nacho cheeses on my lips kind of thing. Makes it look like yellow lip gloss, <laughs> if anything, to the D&D &D guys in my eyes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just, like, staring at these stairs, just like... Oh, boy. Um, there's no, is there, are there like, uh, rails? Is there rails that goes down there? Yeah, but they're like wood rails, so. Ah, fudge. Don't hit them too hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I get off of the wheelchair, fold it, chuck it down the steps, and then I proceed <laughs> to go step by step, just plop, moves legs, Plops, moves legs <laughs> in my boxers, just plopping. So you, <laughs> so you notice almost immediately as you're going down that now you have an audience of like five, like very rough looking individuals, and you definitely caught all their attentions because a wheelchair just flew down there. So they're just like dead eyeing you as you're like plop, move down. Wait, are they at the top? Plop, or the bottom? And they're just like they're at the bottom, but you don't notice them until you're about five steps down okay uh, they've noticed you from the moment you got there as soon as you threw the wheelchair they were like what is going on okay um i continue um just kind of mutter to myself man i wish the stairs wasn't wet and uh just keep going <laughs> till i get to the bottom <laughs> um and then i grab the wheelchair unfold it plop myself into it and then just see these guys staring at me with the confused look and then I, then I asked like can I help you gentlemen can, can I help you well, one of the guys goes all right I've seen enough tonight I've lost my money I'm going home <laughs> and then one of the other guys just stands up and he goes that was a magnificent show <laughs> uh, confused I uh, I proceed to show them the coins like does anyone know what I'm supposed to do this in the treasure map uh, are you guys here for the hunt <laughs> like, you really confused. One of the guys goes, in the back, newbie. Thanks, man. Folds the map, puts it, like, in the chair, tucks the coin on top of the map, and then just roll, roll on back to, uh, I guess, where the goblin's at? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and then I, I go to him and I was like, so are you the, uh, the guy that shows me where no. the show is? No. No. Oh, um, so not the map. Not, oh, coin? What is going on tonight? I swear. <laughs> he hands you, like, a bunch of, like, wet napkins, and he's like, clean yourself up, man. Good God. I don't know what's going on tonight, but <laughs> this place is a shit show, and I don't know why. I don't get paid enough for this. Jesse actually hasn't paid me in a while, so I don't know why the fuck I keep showing up here. You know, I, I don't know who this Jesse guy is, but, uh, you know, you should probably talk to him about this payment issue. You know, it's your, you're working hard for this guy. You deserve to get your cut. You deserve your Jesus pay. Christ. As soon as you wipe your face off and give me that goddamn nacho platter, you can leave. I completely forgot I had that on my lap. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming this was still on my lap as I was going down the steps because I forgot about this. Yeah, the nacho. <laughs> yeah. For the visuals. visuals. <laughs> the nachos. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, it's like one of those ASMR videos, like when they're trying to show off fries for like a new commercial. It's like real deep camera shots of it. And you can hear like the salt hit the tray. <laughs> Oh gosh. oh gosh! Um, so I proceed to, I guess, wipe my face. I, I, I basically clean myself up. You know, I clean myself up, 
and then uh, with with my hand one hand full of wet naps that are used and the other hand holding the plate I'm like do you guys have a where's your trash can at he just like grabs it and drops it behind the counter and then a sigh lets out and he goes ah, and he you just hear click, and then the two buckets, boom, open. So literally, my reaction is this: like just straight, just like shock in the face. But like, I just don't move. I'm just like, what the frick? And then I slowly, turn. <laughs> I look at him, look at the doors, and I'm like, treasure hunt. Hurry up! I would guess. Hurry! All right, he's. So I just roll on in there. <laughs> you hear the click again before you can get in, and the doors rise and lock before you can make it in. And he goes, "Where is it fast enough?" I turn. I turn to go back. Not worth my time. And, and then I hit the button. I was gonna say I turn to go back to him, and then just like I'll start over. <laughs> yeah, as you turn back and he realizes what's about to happen, like you're not going to give up by embarrassment, he clicks the button again and he goes, please just go through. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Swivel on over and just roll on in. Yeah, you have that moment once again where it's like kind of musty smelling, quiet. You just hear the guys gambling behind you. You cross over into the wood floor. All of a sudden... Of just whiffs of smell, alcohol, smoke, all sorts of smells hit you immediately. Loud music being played. Um, and the only sound you can hear from behind you is the click as the bucket is shut again. Big barrels. This is one strange treasure hunt. And I just go ahead and just roll on forward. Yeah, so like I described before, as you yeah. turn the corner, lights coming around. I'm not going to explain it all again. You've already heard it twice. Yeah. Uh, I get up and I, I go to the bar, actually. So as you're wheeling towards the bar, first off, you see Toongar and Alter Dash by the bar. And far down, like all the way past the dance floor, you see like a pretty small human, Bishop and Gideon, walking into a closed door like it's being swung open as they walk in. And you get just the tail end of seeing them as the door shuts on the far side. Is there a gap between Atradash and Tungar? Like, seating-wise? Like, is there, like, a space between them? You have your own seat. It's not what I asked. Put in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I suppose, regardless, I roll up in between them. <laughs> and, then I'll, and then I say, I was like, oh, so you guys were uh, you're here for the treasure hunt too. Okay, I see, I see. And then I, f I like flick the coin up and it lands onto the counter. It's like, yeah, let me get uh, whatever this gives me. That's it. That's literally what I just say there. That's it. <laughs> That's the line. <laughs> the barmaid looks at you and she goes, Are you with Gideon? Oh, he's here too for the treasure hunt? Oh, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I know that guy. He's one of my pals. <laughs> Load him up. I'm sorry, what? And they just start <laughs> breaking you. <laughs> just picks me up from the wheelchair. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they could, they're good. full blooded orc. Like, they're pretty ginormous. I'm half, half orc. They don't even look <laughs> at you with racist intentions of your half blood. Oh, I didn't think it was. A race thing, but <laughs> four, <laughs> four <laughs> orcs and half orcs. Four orcs do not like orcs. half orcs. Okay, I dated an orc. So we're cool, right? That's what's <laughs> up, Tungar. Um, we cool, right? Like, I'm not racist. I have an ex orc girlfriend, so <laughs> my best friend in the third grade was an orc. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Tungar, I never I have orc you friends. Racist, so my you best friend is half orc, so that's like. You know, I'm a part of the community. Right? I suppose I I'm the one that's friends. left out because... Yeah. See, now I seem like the racist one. Like, what the heck? Joe's racist now. <laughs> he hasn't, you know, dated or whatever with a, with an orc or a half-orc. Like, I know Gideon's it's gotten around. Right I mean, there, Joe. Joe, no. just two right there. No, no. no. What do you mean now? 
Oh, no, it's just, I, I'm too. I, I can't even see over the counter, man. It's, it's, they're not gonna like. <laughs> like <laughs> do they just see like your head, or do you have yeah, a hat it's, on? It's like this. Your hat. They they see this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're, I'm, I'm just gonna say. I was gonna say, oh, Joe, are you here for the magic? No, I was there for the, the for the for the treasure hunt. There's magic and friendship. <laughs> Maybe that is the treasure all along. That sounds stupid. No, I'm here for the treasure. So, Tungar, as you're talking, you feel a hand on your shoulder. They must be very tall to reach. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, <laughs> they must be pretty tall. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? So as you do the thing that you always have to do as you turn around to look down you stare directly in the chest of this person and realize they are just as tall if not taller than you Oh, and boy. it is and I'll enlarge it for y'all so you can get the full by the bar right? yeah Oh, oh bear hot. man Dang. just grabbed you by the shoulder and goes, Where are you from? Uh oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> first of all, hello to you too. Um, oh god, where was I from? Hold on. <laughs> I wrote it down. I like that uh, this is in this is I definitely am... in character. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> It's because we I forgot just, the okay, so, cards. So, so in, in character, so in character, uh, I'm gonna be like, um, "Hello, nice to meet you." It's like, but like nervously trying to avoid like looking at the back of his neck. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, "I am from the mountains, do southeast." How about you, my friend? Say my thing. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, one more time. And a little bit slower, if you don't mind. Like the a slight growl. I said, you... same, I think. Say my. Say my think? My think. <laughs> There's like an awkward <laughs> silence. <laughs> Iron <laughs> Forge! I came from Iron Forge. Oh, Iron Forge! Never see like trying to know what that is. <laughs> totally, oh. yeah, bro. Oh my god, how how it's been so long? How have you been? He searched Jerry, speaking. Jerry, right? No. <laughs> what what? Please remind me of your name. It's been so long. He says what sounds like jarbled words. He's just like. <laughs> Oh my god, how is she? How is your mother? <laughs> he looks at you just a bit confused and he goes, She's good! Oh. I knew it. I knew it. Do you know my mama? <laughs> Not personally. Uh, I know that's a sensitive topic. Uh, I just know that a uh, female of your of your kind last uh, live very long lives, very long happy lives. Glad she's doing such. Anyways, but change the subject. How, uh, <laughs> what are you uh, here for? How can I help you? <laughs> I know you're from my kingdom. Not many around. Also, you want friendship too. Yeah, and as you say friendship, he grabs your ass. And oh. we're gonna switch to the other. What's gonna end it right there? <laughs> That's the end of the episode. <laughs> oh shit! Did he just grab my ass? And you hear the like slap as the door shuts behind. It's actually the sound of the door shutting behind Gideon mm. and Bishop. And just is like, come on, man, over here! Come on, hey, come on, hey, 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 come on, hey. Come on. These are A1 transitions, by the way. Just A freaking one, my dude. <laughs> you uh, are leaving me open for really easy ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bishop will be um, holding so, the... Uh, do y'all know where you are the on the map? I'm pinging it for you. I'm, I'm up at the top left. Am I not? Yeah. We now have two group tokens since we've split into oh, two Oh, sweet. Fucking that makes perfect. it easier for me. 
We're gonna go Bless here. You. And <laughs> Jesse uh, <laughs> rings over here. As you're walking over to the bar area, there's like a second bar with nobody behind it right now. Oh, I just ate Jesse. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> don't do that. Oh, also, if y'all would like to see a full portrait of Jesse, I do have that. Just yes. for the viewers at home. It's going to be up with our second group. Um, bring this to token letter. I'll zoom on in on that. Wow. Okay. Dang, he looks like a man that knows how to party. He he <laughs> looks exactly how I imagined he'd look. <laughs> to be fair, just with less I made hair. The, I, made the, right? I made the uh, character after I made the token. <laughs> so that's exactly how I thought he would speak, too. <laughs> that's... That's so funny. It's A one, my dude. Okay, we're just gonna leave Jesse over in the corner. Dude, he's you can hear giant, giant, <laughs> um, giant <laughs> Jesse statue just sits in the middle of the room. Well, dude, here. we would have a fucking statue. Oh, oh my, head that's his actual token. That's <laughs> <laughs> so big. Jesus fuck. Fuck, go away, Jesse. You see his little hand with the little freaking cup. cup? Yeah. You can hear from the stage that the set is going off, like they're taking a break, and there's just some like ambient music being played. And Jesse turns to um, Bishop and he goes, Put it down, put it down, put it down, now, now! Bishop needs you to calm down. <laughs> I, uh, 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 and then he'll, uh, he'll, he'll, lift, he'll lift the box and just set it down on the uh, on the counter. And it, it's like a very like deep, like heavy like thud. It's not like a, like you know you setting down like a like a shopping bag or something. It's like a very heavy crate. And, and uh, immediately slap, slap the top of it. <laughs> Yeah, like, so you go to, like, start to, like, open it, and Jesse, like, jumps on it like like a squirrel jumping on a tree, all fours, and he just starts to, like, pry it open. It's got, like, nails and shit. Like, it's, like, a contained box. <laughs> like, fuck! 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 Jeez. Uh, it's on something. <laughs> Would you yeah. like Bishop to help you? Well, yeah! Uh, Bishop, that's a good idea. Uh-huh. And he'll, he'll walk over and just kind of make eye contact with Jesse and just like crack the like the front end off of it. Yeah, you hear the wood crack, the little nails screech as you rip them out. And Jesse's like, perfect, perfect, perfect. And as soon as the lids open, like the nails haven't even fully gotten out, his hand is in there. Just like throwing up bags of shit. And he's like, fucking worth it, fucking worthless, fucking worthless, fucking worth. There it is. And he pulls out like a giant bag of powder. And he's oh, like, God. "Thank God!" <laughs> All right, guys. Well, the rest of it's real. Okay, bye. And he just walks away. Jeez. And then as he gets like three steps away, he goes, "Fuck!" And he turns back around. He goes, "Thank you, Gideon. I very much appreciate it." <laughs> Tell Hank that I very much appreciate him. You know, bringing stuff. Here's what I owe him. And he hands you a huge bag of money. Can I can I catch uh, Jesse's wrist just like an immediate grab? Yeah, as you touch him. So like, first off, when you touch him, because he doesn't have any hair and he's really really sweaty, your hand like slips a little bit, and he screams immediately. He's like, ah! oh, "I'm sorry." <laughs> and then he'll he'll put his hand under Jesse's hand and then just shake Jesse's hand until the money falls into his his oh. metal arm. <sighs> Oh, thank God. Good. All right. Thanks. This was great. I, You know, we really should talk about that. I, mean, I, I gotta go. The bishop would be like, I'll let him know that I've gotten paid. And he'll rub the sweat off of his, <laughs> off his yeah, hand. Yeah, like Ooh. jogging away. And he's like, good, 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 good. <laughs> and then uh, he'll look to Gideon and go, Jesse is quite a weird fella. Tight. Tight, 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 tight. Weird. Yeah, yes. weird. <laughs> Weird, I agree, Bishop. So can I, can I ask you to do me a favor, friend? Flip these tokens. And you'll see you'll see Bishop's like mouth kinda go open a bit and go 
You wish to be Bishop's friend? <laughs> if that's okay, yeah, we can do that first, and then I I have a follow up question. If that's okay, how's that sound? But is it a yes? Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Um, and then he'll he'll that, just put his arms out and pick you up and go, me and Bishop, no, you and Bishop, wait, and then he just kind of like freezes for a second, he goes, we are friends, and he'll just set you down. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Oh, fuck. You should, <laughs> you should be the chiropractor. You're really good at that. Uh, can I ask you a follow-up question, Bishop? Anything for a friend of Bishop's. Oh, that is a perfect, perfect answer. How long have you been doing this? Since Bishop was freed of Master Colts. Interesting. Has the box... <laughs> Do you know how much, how heavy the box was before? Like, has it gotten heavier over time, do you think? Bishop would like to think that it weighs the same because it makes the same noise every time he sets it down. That's a good enough answer. Okay, that's interesting. Aw, okay. I can let the armorer know if you want a box, but I don't know. No, 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 you don't have to, you don't have to tell the armorer <laughs> anything about what I do or do not know. Actually, I would prefer if you didn't, Bishop. Even if he asked. Do you do that for a friend? He'll, he'll kind of like look down, look at the bag, look at his really sweaty metal hand, look back at Gideon and just nod. Cool, cool. Yeah. Right. So, as you're all having this conversation, the group who was on stage is coming off stage. That's why I enlarged the tokens. Yes. So, they all bounce over here, except for the rabbit guy. He walks up behind you, Gideon, as you're still talking to Bishop. And you can, like, you can you, it smells like wet fur as he walks up. Ew. And he goes, you hear, fucking Gideon! Oh my god. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. Why, does every, why is everyone doing that today? This is ridiculous. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Are you here to fuck up the set tonight? Fuck up the set? I think you mean fuck up the set. You know what I'm talking about? Jesus Christ, you unprofessional slob. I, you know, I do what it's I do. Right? <laughs> Thank you. Bishop, see? He's got, he has perfect pitch. What would Bishop. your, uh, rabbit uh counterpart rival here be named uh let me think um, i think i may have an answer for that gary uh, oh can yeah it be, can it be uh fur cobain fur cobain <laughs> yeah so fur cobain is over here shit talking you <laughs> he reaches into the box and grabs like a little thing of pills. And he's like, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking need to be fucked up to hear your set! Oh, furt, 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 furt. See, Van? Don't call uh, me that. Oh, what do you want me to call you, Mr. Only my Cobain? lovers call me Furt Cobain. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Furt, I'm furt, not, furt. You think, <laughs> please don't say that that fast. I feel like you're gonna summon something, okay? Can you not do that for me? <laughs> You can see the leg starts going. <laughs> you piss <Yeah>. him off. <laughs> you can see a little bunny tail. Is he <laughs> pumping his butt? Yes. <laughs> I said Bert. Okay. There's. I'm just gonna end this right, right here, right now. Okay. There's a, a difference in the sound when it's all natural versus artificial, like what you do, and everybody knows it. That's why. Get, I, get, 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 get it! I hate you. I know you do, and I'm glad you do. You know why? Because I don't even think about you. That's how irrelevant you are to me. Liar! This is a lot. Kidding does think about this quite a bit. <laughs> and he's, he's, he's had that line prep for so long that he like has to drop it. <laughs> Especially because he wants to look cool in front of Bishop right now. And like there's other people around, so like he really wants to like get get him. Um He likes like he, you've really got him going now. His foot's like tapping, like bah, 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 and his little tail's twitching, and he's like, "That, that, that—that's why nobody will play with you." 
<laughs> need anyone to play with me, and that's the magic, isn't it? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> just walks away. He's just stuttering as his little, because every step he has to stop because his foot just goes, bah, 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 and then he takes two steps, bah, 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 and he's just going, fuck! Fuck! Oh, oh. I, uh, I look at, uh, at, at Furt's bandmates, um, who I assume, here's the names that I came up for them, uh, is Guaca, <laughs> Guaca, and Moli. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can do different ones? That was just the first duo that I thought was funny. Perfect. Perfect. I, I just looked up, I just looked up 90s rock singers. And I don't know why Kurt Cobain, but yeah, he popped up, so I'm like, Fur Cobain. <laughs> Yeah, what do, what do these what do these other people look like exactly? They're at the bottom down here. Are they animals got, as well? No. We got slash. Oh, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, we got slash. Yeah, yeah it's slash. basically slash. <laughs> um. Maybe named Stab. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't that's speak. The, <laughs> that's not, he always has the top hat and the glasses. Um. Person on the bottom left. It kind of looked like Link from Legend of Zelda. I was gonna go Elton John. That's because <laughs> they're a fairy. <laughs> I'm part gay. I can make that joke. This is the Fair rules. If I wasn't into dudes, I wouldn't say it. That'd be mean. <laughs> uh, you notice as you like survey the people. You realize that this guy right here, you've seen... Oh, I didn't ping. That's a bummer. That guy. The guy with mm -hmm. the big beak. That guy is an enforcer, and he also is the one who, like, deals with money back here. And, like, a fucking badass. You've had maybe not direct run-ins with him before, but you've seen him fuck people up before. Mm -hmm. Just like a pure sociopath kind of guy. Hey, He's the one who's... Like, the security, like, if somehow they get past the Minotaur or whatever, the Minotaur is, like, the big threat, but he's not really that big of a threat. That guy's actually a huge threat. This guy's, like, actually a fucking psychopath. Yeah, so it's one of those things where you're, like, making fun of everyone, ha ha ha, and you go, fuck, 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 and then you look over, and you're like, oh, shit, like. Oh, this is the guy. Yeah, normally he's not over. Like, he normally doesn't hang out big behind girl. stage. Gotcha. Okay. I would not know his name, would I? No. You do know he's the one who has, like, the money. Gotcha. Like, huge... He's, like, the bank here. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, boy. Let me look at my... Give me one second while I look at my yeah, shit. Yeah, so as you look at your shit, we're going to go to the other group. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> so, <laughs> Joe... Oh, me... Everyone the ass, hears the ass, the ass slap. And Joe, do you, do you almost like feel it? Because you're like at the same <laughs> level almost. It's like a shock wave. <laughs> it's like a shock wave. It, it like moves my chair slightly. You're like, <laughs> Tinder, oh, yeah. what is your reaction as he goes? <laughs> just, well, bam! Oh, oh, well, well, uh, this is uh, new. I don't remember this being a greeting of friendship from our parts, but I mean, wasn't right. I wouldn't call it that, but it is. It is quite the quite the introduction. Uh, and thinking this is like customary, I slap his ass. Back. <laughs> so like, as, his as, ass. But as like as like as humanly hard as I possibly can. Like, can I make, can like, a, like, yeah, like a strength it? check? <laughs> Please do a strength check for an ass slap. I would love to see that. Do I just, I just click on the 20, right? Uh, on strength. Saving throw. Just tap on okay, strength. Well, yeah. Click strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, there, nope. Dude, I want you to fucking eradicate his hips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, okay. Break his femur. Joe has a friend. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh my wait, god. Where is it? Where is it? A deck three times. Is it three? Are you doing it? <laughs> three, two, three, three. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean no, to do it. So this is the first 20, one. 21. So you go oh, to yeah. break his ass and you hit him and it's like 
In fact, you guys can hear it in the back. It's so <laughs> it's like fucking loud. Thunderous. thunderous. <laughs> and you just hear, By the frosted mountains! As he hits the ground. Oh. You hit him so hard, you knocked him over. And he goes, Fucking giant men! We go now! And he grabs your hand and he starts like, pull you. <laughs> Okay, I guess we must talk about this. <laughs> must talk about their friendship. I don't know. I really don't know what he's trying to do. Honestly. Yeah, so he just starts like pulling you along. So I will make a third token. <laughs> Copy and paste. <laughs> and he is going to drag you. Oh, God. Away. Um, Joe. <laughs> and all to dash, you just you hear you you have a front row seat to this. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I sure do. He saw Toon Guard just get absolutely like ushered away. Uh, sure. Oh, I guess he's uh he's found a friend to help him with that treasure hunt. <laughs> oh my God. Well, it's gonna be some booty for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Zingo. Nah. Ah. I look over to uh, uh, <clears throat> Atradash and it's like, so uh, what are you going to do with the uh, treasure that we find? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's this treasure you keep on bringing up? And so I, uh, I hand him the map and I was like, so that's, uh, I, I also forgot the innkeeper's name. Do we, do we have that written down somewhere? It's Lars Seni. Well, <laughs> Would your character? You character didn't even ask his name. I think. No, I would know. At. I would know his name because he. I think he's my friend. Um, <laughs> I'm, I think I do have it, but you can give me another one. All right, well, I don't remember. We're, we're we're just gonna for the time being. We're just gonna call him John just for the sake of impression. <laughs> but we'll come up with something oh. better later. Um, but yeah, so it's like uh, uh, the uh, the innkeeper. He uh he gave me this. John gave me this, and I show him the map. It's like, it's the treasure map, right? We're, we're here for the treasure. You know, the gold. Qu question to JT. Is this an actual oh, map or... Gold. No, it's like a city map with like an X over where the entrance would be. And it just says, show coin, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and at the top, it, he just put a T as like a marker. Wait. <laughs> Joe John. thinks that for some reason means treasure. I don't know. So, I'm looking. I was looking at this map the whole time where it says "show coin, shut the fuck up," and I get to it, look, get to the place, look at it, and then just like, yeah, this is the place, just completely ignoring those words. Like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty in character for you. That is pretty in character. I, I can't deny that. Okay, we'll, we'll continue, I guess. <laughs> um. Well, me looking at this map and uh, want to fuck with Joe a little bit. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna look at the map and I want to read the the shut up part, but I want to change it. Not change it, but like tell um, Joe. So I'm gonna go to Joe and play. Um, Joe, did you read this right here on the bottom? No, no. What what, what did it say? I just saw the big X. It yeah, got my attention. Oh, it. it Says the first one to the treasure keeps it all. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and 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 Tungar is about to go get it. Are you? Oh no, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I no. swerve and I start running after him. <laughs> so, Tungar, you better slow well, your roll. Slow yes. Slowly so, <laughs> so we're gonna go back to Tungar. So <laughs> Toon Guard, <laughs> he drags you I'm all the way down the hall. <laughs> he just like kicks open this door. Hold on, let me open the dynamic lighting. Wait, Wait, open the map door. Is huge. This map is oh, amazing. No. And just pushes you in to this room. Oh gosh. And oh, immediately, oh, immediately starts to like remove his armor. <laughs> And as this happens, as like the thud of his armor and his axe falls to the floor, and he's like, he's like, oh yeah, Joe, <laughs> Joe screeching down the hallway, 
My pressure! <laughs> Joe and Alter Dash, you show up about the same time <laughs> as the bear is going in for a big hug, shirtless hug, and it's like, why armor? As he's going in for the hug. Uh, Joe, Joe is shocked, to say the least. Uh, he's like shaking in his voice, like, This isn't the treasure. Tungar, Tungar what's your reaction here? I, I think as he's like pulling his armor off, I'm like, Oh. <laughs> it's a villager? <laughs> and I, and I, I basically like. I heard Joe at the corner of my ears, like, just dying for some way out of this. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, Joe! Uh, uh, one second. I'm like, <laughs> like, barely dodging his <laughs> arms, his big fuzzy arms. and like, Grish, 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 grish. Trying to, like, find Joe in an extra dash. I'm like, oh, uh, stay right there. I will be right back. Uh, my friend is shitting himself. Uh, I must help real quick. Yep. Uh, Joe, quick, shit yourself! <laughs> My, mind you, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually at the entrance when I saw him go for that hug. So I heard all of this, too. <laughs> and, um... So what do you do? Uh, just look like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, I'm not sh shitting myself. I'm looking for the, the treasure that's... That's what Atra just said. First one gets the goal. He, he is mentally uh, incapacitated. Treasure <laughs> means shit. Let's go here. Let me push. Uh, Wait, I'm sorry. What treasure does it mean? Is just you just hear that trail. I start. <laughs> so as, 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 as you start pushing him, let's as go you somewhere. grab him to the bathroom <laughs> and like spin him around. <laughs> and Zeus, or not Zeus, sorry. <laughs> as Joe's being spun around, going treasure H. Shit, treasure! Uh, and we zoom in on the other people, the other group, at the top. What's do you know what spell you're gonna do, Gideon? I this looked at all of my spells and I realized that uh, most of them are not a good idea to use at the moment. Okay, so you like sit and ponder for a second. Yes, yeah, so I sit. The and it's like one of those really tight shots on your face that it just keeps zooming in, and then all at once it just. Like, it gets to your eyes, <laughs> and then it just immediately zooms back out when you don't do anything. <laughs> what's, your, what's your next action as the camera is zooming back out? Wrap my hands together. <laughs> like, and, like, kind of rub them, rub them a little bit. I look at Bishop. I go, Bishop, you already see something really fucking cool. Uh, yes. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna get better at this. You, you and I. We are. I promise. Friends. Yes, sir. Friends indeed. <laughs> and then I, I walk, uh, and I sit in this this chair, I guess. Okay. Or I'd rather, I guess, sit on this this bench or this like couch. Next to next to stab. <laughs> and oh. um, <laughs> and uh, I. I gotta swirl my drink and I look over at the uh, uh, accountant. Is that what he is? He's kind of an accountant, yeah. kind of a kind of a uh, bouncer. Mafia boss, enforcer, an accountant. It all kind of it's a falls fixer. Under. He doesn't like you've been here a lot. Like he just nobody refers to him as anything. Yeah, he's just there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I kind of, I kind of look at him and I just go, I go, uh, oh, do I recognize the pattern? Like, I assume I would. I'm in a world. Oh, of, yeah, yeah, for sure. Is, is so just... you would know because you were standing in front of the box. Like, he definitely took a bunch of whatever this world's equivalent of cocaine is. <laughs> fairy dust. Yeah, fairy dust. That's probably good. Yeah. And it's like, it, like it was a big bag. Like, mm -hmm. way more than one person should be taking him, <laughs> however often he is getting this shipment. Like, way too much. But there's also a load of other drugs in there, too. Interesting. Different, different colors. Some of them glitter. Some of them glow. So cool. Uh, you would probably know, since, like, you're in this part of the world a little bit. Like, you at least see, like, 
the backside of the Rockstar lifestyle, whether you partake or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also the newish, newish drug called Venom in there. Interesting. Bane? Um, is Venom like it's newish? Are the side effects like fairly well known by this point? Like, kind of how it affects you? <laughs> kind after? of, kind of not. It's had some strange effects on people. It's pretty much like for a real life comparison, like a meth where it like zones you out, but you also like, it's like ADD medicine for anybody else. Like it just, you hyper focus on stuff with it. Gotcha, okay. But it has had some strange side effects that people have been trying to test out for military purposes. Oh, cool, 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 cool. This is It's highly illegal. Highly illegal. Got it. Yeah, I was gonna say all, about all of this. All of this is definitely illegal, right? Yeah, that okay. that box is highly illegal. Gotcha. I go. So I, as I'm sitting, I kind of like spin my my drink, and I go. That couldn't have been cheap. Just kind of to the room. I just throw it out there. It couldn't have been cheap. So the man is sitting there, and he's got a briefcase next to him, and he's sitting very like prim and proper. Mm-hmm. And as you just say, that couldn't have been cheap. He just kind of like tilts his head towards you and then tilts his head back forward and then kind of like adjusts himself to be perfectly straight again. Uh, can I make an intelligence check? Sure. What are you trying uh, to figure out? Try, or is there maybe there might be a better way to do that? But uh, I want to do the quick maths. Of how much uh, it would cost. On, on what it would cost. Like, just, like, spitballing. I'm not trying to get, like, super... I'm talking, like, if I can round it to the hundreds of dollars, <laughs> that's that's enough. Or, okay. I guess, like, tens of gold, right? If I'm evaluate, like valuing it properly. Sure. So give me a... Uh, you could either give me a medicine check... Or you could just give me an intelligence check. So. I go with intelligence. Uh oh. Oh. I have no idea. I am yeah. way too dumb. I am too fucking stupid to know what this is. Um. Yeah. Blame it on I the get... drinks. Definitely blame it on the drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Way too, way too drunk. I do um, believe you have, just as a. In case you want to use it. I believe everybody in the party currently has inspiration as well. Oh, do we really? Right. When did we get that? I think session one or two. No, it was the first I session d- Gravy got back. I gave it to everybody. Oh yeah, yeah I remember that. Uh, in- inspiration looks like uh, or works like a uh, advantage. A re-roll. Right? I could just it's re-roll. just a rule. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna definitely do that then. I just wanna. I wanna be like, wow, that um, that first number, that was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that's right. Um, forgot to carry a, a zero. So just blink a couple times. Clear your eyes. <laughs> okay, and then I look again. And that's <laughs> that is the only so improvement mathematically. So you can get like a ballpark for it at a ten. That's a partial success. Okay. Um, um, yeah, how much is it? It It's within, like, four to seven thousand. Hmm. Valaros. How much is that in gold? If, four if to seven. Is, oh, gold pieces. That's go, in gold. Wow. It's, and you would know, part I of the problem of estimating that <laughs> is there's quite a bit of venom in there, and venom is very, <laughs> like... Um, difficult <laughs> to price right now because there's not a whole lot of it. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of look at that and I go, <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's a lot of money that uh, could have gone elsewhere. <laughs> I'm like really trying to guilt trip this guy right now. <laughs> I'm really working it. Yeah, so he he doesn't even, like, acknowledge you this time. Just straight mm-hmm. face into the wall with his briefcase. That's gotcha. not weird. Bishop will take a step up behind Gideon and kind of just pat him on the shoulder and say, let's go, let, 
let us go check on the rest of our friends. And he'll kind of do like a open mouth smile because he can't really like emote. <laughs> emote. Um, <laughs> I look at I look at Bishop. I go, I go, Bishop. If you need, if that's what you think is the right thing to do right now, you can do that. I am am focused on on something right now. I'm focused on where all the money in this bar is going. The bishop was sitting there. As Bishop starts to talk, looks over at you. He goes, if you have something to say, say it. But, Gideon, understand your words have consequences. Uh, words have consequences. Actions have consequences. I look up at, uh, at, at Guac and Mole, <laughs> and uh, I go... Are you guys getting prepared? Are you guys getting paid to perform tonight? Stab looks at you and he go he just he's like, I'm not getting in the middle of this man. <laughs> Lock? Molly? Are you inclined to answer? Because it feels like no. I feel like if you were, you would just say yes. I feel like you're lying to me. So Guac, who's your your ultra rival, goes Fucking kidding! And I, I I always get paid. I get oh, paid oh, so wait, much Fert? more than you. Are we talking about Furt the Rabbit Man? Yes. Wow, <laughs> Furt is back. Just walks out of nowhere. <laughs> Furt, you shouldn't be getting paid. <laughs> oh. I, <laughs> you can keep throwing softballs at me, and I will keep hitting home runs. I, I, I'm the only one making a living here. Is what you do really living? <laughs> You're a philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Jesse respects me enough to get paid. But he's not, he's not getting paid. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to know. He is making it seem like he's getting paid. Okay. You would yeah. probably know you've pissed him off, and if he was actually getting paid. Or at least mm -hmm. consistently getting paid, he would have, he'd have like receipts. He would show you the money. Yeah. I'm good. Fert, Fert, um, you want me to do you a favor? Have you ever wanted me to do something nice to you? You know, besides listen to music or compliment you? Because I know you already think about that. No, I, I don't. What? You want me to make you some money? Some real money, my man? Because I think that everyone here so as you out. say everyone here the <laughs> guy goes the next words out of your mouth could be deadly uh -oh. I, look at, I look at bishop <laughs> you know, bishop you said anything for a friend right bishop will after staring you for a second bishop will sit there and like adjust his cowboy hat and flick open his coat and just have his hand resting the man like straightens his tie and goes are you sure this is the decision you would like to make Gideon I I don't like making these decisions why does everybody think I'm a bad guy <laughs> what is going on here Let Gideon me... I will give you one choice you can get up and walk away or none of us will get up and walk away Oh, oh, even even himself. I guess so. <laughs> Su suicide's <laughs> badass. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I think you're right. I think it would be better if we all walked away. And Just I kind of look around at the room. And go, Bishop. Let's let's yeah. Let's go check on our friends. Actually. Bishop will close his coat back down, and and you'll hear like a click as he comes his hand over. You can hear the shotgun safety click back on, and he just moves his hat and uh, opens the door for you, Gideon. So as, it's a real tight camera view, like just the one angle, like looking down a doorway as y'all get up and walk away. But it's slowly panning back, and you can see in the guy's other hand behind the briefcase, oh. he 
out of his pocket has a fucking grenade, <laughs> and he just puts it right back in his pocket. Oh, jeez. Nice bullet there, you dice oh. man. <laughs> God, I am just a master of reading social situations. <laughs> <laughs> so, totally wasn't Bishop saying something earlier. <laughs> so you two see Joe and Tungar and Altradash running from this back room. <laughs> to the restroom. The yes. restroom. To the restroom. <laughs> you don't exactly know where. Oh. They, they sell like condoms and gum. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah. like, like cologne. <laughs> it's like all for like you know, with like the attendance and shit. It's like, oh, I didn't oh, know that. There's a little here. goblin on like a stool. There's a yeah, little, a little goblin, goblin on a stool. stool with like a hat, and he has like a little towel on his arm and a little suit, and he's like, oh, let me help you. Yeah, he's a bowl next to the sink. <laughs> Can one of them be Dobby? For like tips. Would you like a condom? <laughs> <laughs> There's two of them. There's two of them. They're like twiddle dee twiddle dub. Like, no, oh. he doesn't want a condom. You know those things don't even work half the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, not when you put holes in them. <laughs> oh, you do that too. It is the business for plan B. God, I love fucking with the locals. Wait, so question. Are we in the bathroom listening to this conversation <laughs> happening? <Yeah. laughs> So, so I'm just sitting there with two guards forcibly wheeling me in there, listening to this whole conversation. Yeah, they're like speaking back and forth to each other. T two guards, I want to leave. One of them, one of them looks, peers down at you from the sink. He's like, I don't think you need one, do you? I look me? straight in his eyes. No, it's. Does, oh, well. it's does totally it still weird. work? It works. When do you think the last time he used it? <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> when they're man. born, do they come with wheelchairs? I wasn't bored this way. <laughs> what the fuck is he? <laughs> oh my God. He's like he's some sort of metal man. <laughs> I like, I like move. Uh, Tungar's <laughs> hands off the wheelchair and just like forcibly, just like disgruntled. Just, like, I'm just leaving. <laughs> oh, he's attacking us! <laughs> we were bad, brother. We may have to call security. The Poop Patrol, they call them. I bow. I left. Joe left. <laughs> Where's he gonna go with his stairs? <laughs> start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's hilarious and terrible. You can't reach me from up here. <laughs> I wish I had my guns on me. <laughs> oh yeah, because you don't have any weapons with you. Yeah, because I'm literally oh, yeah. like in my underwear. Like, so as we <laughs> exit the bathroom scene, and y'all exit the back room, there's an announcement from the stage from Jesse, who seems like a lot more calm now. After he so is sweating. Time way more but he seems like <laughs> more put together all right everybody <sighs> the, man <laughs> <act> <laughs> the, the man act is coming out the one we paid all this money for the reason you're all here is there people here now is there like a giant like crowd yeah, how has the crowd developed so the crowd has all <laughs> been the last people to come in here. It's like a fucking Wednesday night. Like nobody's coming here. I mean, there's a lot of people Party on a here. Wednesday. I mean, there's like 30, 40 people here, but it's not like hundreds of people. These are people who are like doing business meeting kind of thing. Like they right. need a place that nobody's going to spy on them and nobody's going to notice they're here. There's no oh. weekend crowd here. This ain't the weekend crowd for sure. And it's not the weekend performing either. <laughs> so Jesse's on the stage. I can't remember their name, but they're really good. The duo. Yeah. Tungar's <laughs> just like. And on the stage is the next act. The frick is the next act. The next. And I'll enlarge the. In case y'all are interested. The next act is actually their band name. 
<laughs> Is there that's, that's actually pretty good. Jesse like jumps <laughs> on stage like he's expecting people to catch him. There's nobody there, <laughs> and he just like fucking bam. <laughs> the floor. Oh gosh, this guy needs to chill. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that like it's like a belly flop, but on like you know floor. And then you can, because he, cause he had a lot of velocity, you can hear his skin just like. <laughs> it's like full on Tom and Jerry, dude. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh yeah. yeah! Keep the party rolling! This okay. is him on a Wednesday? Jeez. Alright, what are y'all up to? I, I want to go back I to the want to go. I want to hear next act. I also uh, want to hear next Bishop, act. Uh, Bishop will look to Gideon and say, uh, Bishop was told to get a drink. So the song they're playing is called The Elephant Went Down to Georgia. Georgia and existing? Uh, and it's, uh, <laughs> Georgia, but it's J-O-R-J-A. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's spelled completely <laughs> differently. It's an island okay. off the coast. But it is a really good fiddle battle, so. Bet. I'm at the bar. Oh, that's so funny. Um, I look oh, at I look at uh. That's the bear that wants a tune guard. <laughs> Did they play in that band? He's actually on stage. <laughs> oh, that'd be some shit, right? That'd be funny, dude. Yeah, what are y'all what are y'all up to? I look uh, at Bishop. I'm like Bishop. Have you ever? Gosh, how do I? Have you ever? Hit another person and punched another human or or a robot. Bishop will kind of pause and he'll his one eye kind of look down to the ground and then look at like his solder marks on his chest and say, uh, "Bishop was once a war robot that was turned into a butler." Yeah, he was. That's sick. Cool. <laughs> hey, you you want to do violence for the right thing? And his... It, well, I mean, you can't really tell, but there's a spark. I guess a physical spark in his <laughs> eye. Twinkle. <laughs> Just like, and uh, he'll say, Bishop loves to fight for the right thing. That's why this, he was recreated. This is where Johnny's part comes in. Dun, dun, dun! Because we are gonna do the right thing, and we are gonna get all of our friends, or your friends. I'm not sure what what you did earlier, but the the you did this, but not with this. <laughs> uh, but we were talking about our friends earlier. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get them on board with this, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the right thing. And you know, it may not be for the green cloaks, but it's gonna feel pretty good regardless. Bishop would love to feel good. Perfect. The last thing Bishop felt was death. That's horrifying, <laughs> and I, I don't know if I'm ready or capable of processing more than that. But let's go talk to our friends. I kind of turn and I turn around and I start walking. <laughs> Buzzy. Thank you. Ah. Okay, well, I need to move the map. I'm slowly oh, pulling. Map. Towards um, the, the map. There we go. All right, we've made it to the bar. From the map. Hell yeah. Heels down. Okay, party's reunited. So by this time, I'm pretty drunk because I get the reason why I do not chose is because I get drunk very easily, and it's nearly like I I just continue to drink consistently, and it became a big problem. And that's why I did nachos. But I, like, got drunk very, very quickly and was hitting on not one, but both of the uh, orc uh, bartenders. Oh. I think they're into it, too. Oh. This is also why like I don't <laughs> drink, because I, 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 I am very flirtatious. It causes is it is it a genuine like, or is it like a pity, like, aww kind of thing? I think it's more of a 
We've seen a whole lot of people come in and out of this place, and none of them were in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. Something it's interesting. It's okay, interesting. Right. He's a man of intrigue. Yeah. <laughs> they're catching. They're catching yeah, a unicorn. Same. Yeah, well, it's like, it's like bottling fun. Like, it just rolls up to him. Fun on wheel? Hot wheels. <laughs> Hot wheels. Eat that. <laughs> Eat that. <laughs> Um, so I, I guess uh, I'm proceeding. I'll walk up. I'll walk up to Joe. Okay. Joe's, but Joe's sitting there like you're, you have the well. The bars are here. Yeah, like it's like, like this. I'm just like you know, just still hitting on them like this, and they're still into it. But Bishop will walk up to. Uh, he'll have Gideon in front of him, or I guess behind him. No, in front of him, and uh, he'll walk up to uh, Joe. And is Tungar and Atreides are both there, right? I'm Y'all assuming so. Yeah, we got reunified. They're all there. Okay, okay, okay. The gang's all so back they'll come, together. They'll come back, back up, cool and he'll see Joe, and, and he'll kind of shake the chair a little bit and lean down. And as he turns to see him, he goes, Joe, friends. I have become friends. Bishop is friends with Gideon. I go to, like, <laughs> high-five you, but obviously I'm drunk, and so I just, exactly, right on the face. And I'm like, good, good, good job, man. I always do. You were a great guy and would make so many friends. I I am trying to become more than friends with these fine ladies over here. And he'll just say, oh no. And he'll look to Gideon and say, Joe is inebriated. I don't even know what the word means. But I like it. Them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe, so you know. One of the, well, actually both of them, have told you that after pretty much everyone has left, they want to show you a surprise. Joe loves surprises. <laughs> does, he, does Joe say that? Yes. Joe loves yes, he says it like, he's like, Joe loves surprises. With a thumbs up. And they nod and they go, I don't think... I don't think she's here, so I don't think it would be a big deal. But we gotta wait till everyone leaves, so it'll be a while. Um, uh, what do we do in the meantime? Um, they drink. just hand you another drink. I miss my nachos. Just drink another. Could, could Bishop ask for like oil or maybe like grease or something <laughs> to like? Fix his joints and his jaw. Olive oil. Yeah, so they would have something for you, for sure. Because oh, this awesome. place... So, a little known fact about this place. This place is a teleporting circle in one of the corners. Oh. So, you can get here from, from, like... Yeah, from pretty much anywhere. If you know the portal, like, code? Or spell? The zip code. <laughs> yeah, the zip, it's a code. Yeah, the zip code. You, have to have, oh, you literally <laughs> have to have their... <laughs> You literally have to have their coin. So for everyone who actually knows the main map a little bit, this is actually one of the... So there's five stories to um, Dragon Tales Casino. And this is the second of the five stories underground. Holy so most crap. people know it as the casino. Actually, when you walk through that thing, you were teleporting there. That's what that magic is. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking cool. That is dope as frick. Frick. So Sorry. Nobody, would, nobody would know that except maybe. No, you could you could swear. Getting in. You sure? I would yeah. assume I've been to the. Island. I have the Harry. Is your dad okay with it? Dude, yeah, he's totally okay. He's asleep, man. And I would assume you have a coin. I respect the house rules. I respect the house rules. No, you're good, bro. You're good. That's what we got the Harry Potter campaign for. Oh, sorry, that was a tangent. <laughs> oh, sorry, anyway. I was so lost in it. I was. I thought that was enchanting. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so, a, a drunk guy walks over, and uh, I actually have a token for him and everything. Does the bear guy ever come back, or he's gone? I hope he comes back. I told him to wait gone. patiently. That is true. Oh, yeah. He is waiting <laughs> patiently. Or he might be. Funny. He might be brushing his fur. <laughs> Getting yeah. ready is the Ooh. biggest bottom I've ever heard of. <laughs> uh, who would do? Who in the party would be like the most virtuous to the green cloaks? 
Virtuous as in... Badass. As in, like... Well. Deal yeah. from the rich and give to the poor, which feels very good, but I also do drugs. So like, follows it extremely I, well. It would definitely not be Gideon, and it also would not be Bishop. Not because Bishop doesn't do it, but because these people would know Bishop. Uh, so, like, follow uh, the code, basically? Like, Bishop literally gave everybody, like, 20 gold, so... I think, Probably no 10. I would say, I feel like... I so, Joe Alter dashed Tungar. I feel like it though. might be me! If I'm being I mean, honest. Well, he's also drunk, so I would vote Joe. I am drunk. Joe's you know what? I would vote okay. me too. Let's let's do this. I am everyone's friend when I'm drunk. I am everyone's so friend. I, I a am drunken friend. patron walks up to you and hands you a note, and then points to a table in the corner and says, "It's from them," and then walks away. Thank you. <laughs> Get another drink. Um, I can't read it, so I give it a bishop to read it. It's like, hey, what does this say? And then a bishop will unfold it and he'll do it with his one eye. He'll hold it up. And what does the note say? <laughs> <laughs> it says, we know you sent your friends off to die. The bishop will just kind of go, hmm. What, what does it say? Uh, oh, oh, wow. Uh, Tungar, you may need to look at this. <laughs> and he'll, hand it, he'll hand it. He'll hand it over Joe, like over Joe's head. I like look okay. as it goes over. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> from, from what the old? It's this table in the back. I'm pinging it now. Let's One more take time. a oh. look. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at these. I asked Tungar. I was like, "Hey, what, what does this say?" Uh, to the left or to the right? To the right. You know, uh, it might not be important at this moment. Uh, can I can I make a perception check and see like if they're trying to size us up and like start something? Uh, no, you can. I mean, yes, you can, but you don't need to actually make the roll. Okay. They're obviously laughing at you. Oh. Oh dang. Do we know who they're laughing at specifically? <laughs> I'm not the guy in the box. It's totally not the guy in his boxes. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, we are uh, as in our little gang now, so they're probably laughing at all of us collectively. It might or, be the guy that was gang. plopping on the stairs in his boxers with nachos on his lap. You know, it's highly possible that that was happening. What do you want to do? Well, I mean, Joe still doesn't know what it says. So he's just sitting there just looking up at these two Me giants either. like, what does what this say? <laughs> this entire time, Gideon has not been listening or paying attention. He is talking to both of the orc... Uh, <laughs> not the orcs. Uh, bartenders. Bar and, bartenders? Yeah, the bartenders. And apologizing profusely for anything and everything <laughs> that Joe has said already. Oh, they're very, like non-accepting of it and they're like no no he's great well like it's genuine or were they just saying it to say it i don't i don't know if you would be able to make the determination <laughs> can i make a you know what that's true yeah. joe's drunk he's not gonna notice <laughs> sure let's see it Gideon. and he didn't know if they're making fun of him or not that's <laughs> like too dumb <laughs> i'm too drunk and dumb wow oh, holy exactly crap. Uh, one of them is actually into him. The other one is, like, actually making fun of him. That wow. is so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> to Joe? Yes, to me. But the one who is super into him leans over and she goes, Are you going to wait around for the surprise, too? You got it. <laughs> you know how busy I am. <laughs> I appreciate the invite. Let me talk it over with the group. Because I'm going to be honest with, uh, with both of you here. This is pretty mind-blowing, though. You Listen, you've been here a lot. You've never seen this before. Oh, really? They've I, been I taking shots they're... with Joe. <laughs> yeah, probably. Martin has been taking shots with Joe. That's fucking funny. I... It's the wheelchair, oh. man. Let me, let me just talk. <laughs> let me just... It's the chair, bro. It's I'll the chair, bro. They want to ride. Give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you have? What do you have to after? Yeah, I, I turn around and I go, what is going on here? 
Uh, I just take I just take the note and put it in my pocket. D doesn't say anything. <laughs> no, I mean he got distracted, so I'm just gonna not talk about it until later when he's sober. Okay, guys, I'm gonna. Can we do? Can we huddle up here for a second? Huddle. Bring it in. Yeah. I like. I'm, I look yeah. like I look no. like a baby, probably. Yeah. Just like there. like this. Yeah, yeah. Get all of us in here. Tomb like, guard. Tomb guard's to my right, right. so I'd be like. I'm down here. I'm, my arms are down here. Yeah, I like that. And I'm all up here. <laughs> I'm all up here, guys. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm, I got a question for you. I've never. I've been with the green cloaks a long time. I don't know how to do any of the work, though. So I. I, I do. How work. long does it take if we were to want to, you know, conduct a business, right? Put out a a, a job, maybe. You know that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, never mind. We Wait. do we do have a problem though. We're actually just gonna do this ourselves. Keep it real low key, okay? Low key's a god. That's not what I said. <laughs> low hyphen key. You know what? It's not the time. Isn't hyphen actually, a drug? No. <laughs> it's, it's part of the language. But <laughs> <laughs> here's the deal, here's the deal, okay? Oh, this... key, like piano. And then yes. just kind of Oh my it. gosh, it's a small piano. I'm on it. Just for you. Wait, Joe, stay here real quick. No, I don't okay. play piano. No, 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 everybody. <laughs> please, please. Just, can you stay with me for five seconds? Can you hear the words that I'm saying to you? One. There two, is a three. vast misappropriation four. of funds going on in this establishment. I need your help to fix it. Five. In Where's this the illegal piano? establishment? Funds not taken yeah, yeah, care yeah. of well? Yeah, I don't think the Big floor, shot are there. I don't think the floor manager here is taking care of, of business in the right way. And it's it's hurting not just, you know, these people. Nachos? Kind of look over. Ugh, no one's gonna hurt my no. nachos. I like turn, I like try to turn to just some direction to start a fight. I'm obviously stopped. I'm obviously stopped. And I go. A bitch okay. will just put his foot in between your wheel well, so it just <laughs> it stops your wheel from even spinning. Great. So you just kind of. Perfect. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. I'm so I look. I, I need. Uh, I need you guys to help me out with something, and it has to be real hush hush, because I don't want this place to get shut down. Because it would. If we took this anywhere else, if we took this to the Green Cloaks or or any other type of authority, okay? This is what uh, I think some people might call street justice. I don't know if you have heard of that term or not. Okay, it's a lot of blank looks in the I'm on, I'm on the streets all the time. Don't you worry, Holmes. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Makes, makes sense. So <laughs> the 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 floor manager here. The sweaty guy, Bishop knows him. You guys saw him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tweaking, the one who's tweaking. And Mr. Then Jesse. Up. Yes, he is uh, uh, stealing from people. Oh, so as gosh. you say stealing, Jesse's out on the dance floor, and you just everyone in the entire bar hears him go. Whoop! <laughs> Wow. And that's where we end is on his screen. Yes. <laughs> so the that's camera broke. like the camera <laughs> zooms out as the scream. It's like it's a forced push on the camera. Do we need a D&D guys in part 2? We are apparently. Oh. That's right. That's a lot. lot, lot, lot. To about, baby. That is actually a lot. Holy crap. So... Hell yeah. Dead. Wicked awesome. Yeah.